Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send dynamic HTML emails using Python. So if you've tried to send an email with Python before, you're going to know that it's quite straightforward. All you need to do is just to import some libraries and write the text of the email you want to send and Python is going to do the work for you. But if you want to send HTML emails, and what I mean by HTML emails are emails with certain designs or emails that have a particular template. If you want to send emails like that, you're going to see that it gets quite complicated. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that easily using a platform called Waypoint. So Waypoint offers an API that allows us to easily send HTML emails in Python. And not just only Python, basically any other programming language. And let me show you how to do that right now. So the first thing you need to do is to go to Waypoint. You can go there with the URL usewaypoint.com. There'll be a link in the description below for you to access it. And then once you've created an account and you log in, it's gonna take you into this dashboard. So we're just gonna wait for that dashboard to load. So as you can see, I'm in this dashboard and it shows me my, my workspaces. I'm gonna click on it. So now I'm gonna to navigate to templates. Now, the first thing we want to do is to be able to design the template we wanna send. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to send a, a basic template that tells a user or reminds a user for an overdue payment. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. But if you want to create a new template, you just need to click on this new button. And then that is going to take you to the design page where you can basically design any template you want. So you could, you know, click on it and then you could have add an heading. You could click on it also and, you know, add an image or you could even basically have an HTML code right in there. You could code actual HTML and then put it in there. So you could basically design this template anyhow you want to fit whatever use case you want to do. But if we go back, I'm just going to leave this for a second. I have, for the sake of timing, I already designed a basic template that reminds a user that a payment is overdue. And this is the template right here. So this is a template that we're going to be using for this video. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to send this email to a user, right, with all these details using Python. But before I do that, I want to explain some things in Waypoint. So right here, as you can see, it basically shows us the subject and the pre-header. So this is the subject of the email and this is the pre-header of the email. So I'm going to show you what all of this represents, all this thing in quality, quality braces. So if we come into the data tab, we're going to see that every single um, details right here has its own data right here. So if I come in here, and as you can see, these are all the data that is going to be used in here. Like we said created on, and it says um, whatever date this is. And then that is the data that is being shown here. If I just go back to that again. So the amount is 100, that is the amount that is being shown here. The invoice number, that's the invoice number here. This is the display name, which is code we told me, that's the display name right here. So what I just want to show you is how to basically use this to send dynamic emails. For example, you might have an application that wants to send these emails to 100 users under that, you know, under that your application. And you don't want to manually write each name for everyone that you're sending. So what you could just do is to actually use Python to get details of all the users on your platform and then send those emails by just passing the data necessary right here. So this might sound a little confusing, but when we get into Python, I'm going to explain how we actually use this. So that's what all of this does. Now, what you need to do now is to just, we're going to go into Python and we're just going to create a new Python file. And we're going to, I'm going to show you how to send this email, this particular email here to a user. So right here in VS code, I created a new file named emails.py. So we're going to access this waypoint API and we're going to be sending a request to that API and once we send a request to that API giving it all the useful and important details it's going to send that email for us so now that we've created this particular template let me show you how to actually send this so we need to import two things we need to import requests and then we need to import JSON so once you've imported those the next thing you need to have is your API keys so we have API key username. Just going to leave that blank for now. And then we have API key password. Also going to leave that blank for now. So let me show you how to get those details. 
now if we come into waypoint so we're going to come back to this let's just go out and we're going to come into settings so right here in settings if you scroll down you're going to see that we have api keys right here so you just need to copy this username I'm just going to copy that and paste that in username and then for the password i'm going to copy that and also paste that in password so that's what i need to be able to access that and then now we can go back to templates and then we're going to come back to this so now that we have those the next thing we want to do is to actually specify the url that we're sending a request to so i'm just going to have a simple variable named url and then i'm going to type in the url that we're sending a request to and i'm going to show you that what that url is so i'm going to say url equals to and I'm going to paste in that URL. By the way, if you're wondering where I got this URL from, Waypoint has a documentation that basically explains how to do everything for you. So if you also want to do some other things, uh, they they have like workflows. They're gonna they can also explain how to build templates and all those stuff. There was also going to be a link in the description below to access their documentation. So that's where I got the URL in which I'm going to be sending a request to you from. So we're going to come back in here, and then we're going to just specify the headers. And I'm just going to put in the code for the headers. So we just need to have right here the headers, which is just uh, saying the content type is JSON. And then the authentication, which is we're giving it API key username and API key password. So those are the things that we need. Now, the next thing that we need is to specify the data that is going to be sent. So let's say data is going to be in a dictionary format. And then we need to give you the template ID. Now, this is how we actually knows what template we are trying to send. Now, this is the template ID. So for us to get this template ID, once you come into your template right here, this last parameter right here in the URL, that is the template ID. So from WP to the end, that is the template ID. So what you just need to do is to copy that and then come back in here and paste it. So we've specified the template ID just gonna add a comma and then we're gonna say to like who do we want to send this to so the receiving end we could specify i'm just gonna say code we told me let me send it to myself at gmail.com and then now the next thing is the variables these variables basically mean the data that we are trying to send so now let me explain to you how we're going to do this so i'm going to say variables and then in these variables we're going to have the data so what i'm going to do is to come in here and where we add that data that i said i was going to explain i'm just going to copy all of this which is this payment all the way to here and paste that in there so let me just format this well so this is basically what we need so now what, I'm, what i just did was that i am specifying all the details that we need in this particular template so the amount which is what's going to be shown on here the you know the invoice number the display name and for the receiver and the display name for the requester and you know the reason right so all of this is what i specified in here now the next thing i just want to do is to show you how you can change all of this so for example let's say i want to change this amount to let's just say 50 50 dollars and i want to say the display name is tim so that means team is the one requesting. So it's going to change from I Elon to I Tim. And the requester, let me just say the requester is Tommy. And let me say the reason is, is something like payment. Let me just say that. Right. Now, this is how we can give you all the details of what it needs to do. So we're like telling it that it should use from this template, which is this particular template. And we are saying it should send to this email. And we're giving it all the details it needs. Yeah. And after doing that, what we just need to do is to actually send that particular email. So for us to do this, we're just going to come down here, specify the response. So we're saying response equals request or post. So we're posting into that URL, the headers, which is what we specified here. And then we're posting the auth, the authentication key. So it can actually authenticate into my account, which is all these details. And then the data, which is json.dump, we're dumping that using this data right here so that is what we are doing and let's just print 
the response that it gives us. So we're just gonna print, just gonna print response dot text. Now this should work successfully. Now what I'm just gonna do is to run this right here and let's see what it says. So it, it gives us all these details which shows should show that it has been sent successfully. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into my email and I'm gonna check this and I'm gonna show you guys the email that I received. So right here you can see I've received the email just zero minutes ago and as you can see it says fifty dollars which is what we specified in here it says team right here which is the receiver and told me right here which is the requester so everything shows successfully that's how you can easily use waypoints to send html emails now let's just change this let's say this is like fifty thousand and let's say this is john and let's say this is ct now let's send this again as you can see that should be sent successfully and right here i received another email which shows 50,000 i john it shows tt so that works successfully so as you can see everything works we were able to successfully give it all the details we need and right here i was going to explain what this is so as the subject of the email payments the request or display name as requested for the amount so it's getting from this data which we sent which is basically payment request the requester the display name if we come back in here that is payment request the requester the display name that is how it's dynamically also showing a subject now that is how you can send html emails using python now another thing i want to show you is how you can monitor and track the activities of all the emails that you send so waypoint has a feature that allows you to do this and let me show you how to do this so i'm just going to go back right here and i'm going to click on activity so activity basically shows a list of all the emails we send and if you click on one and this is the most recent one that i sent if i click on this you're going to see that it shows me all the details of that particular email the id of the template we used the receiver end and you know the subject and every single thing that has been sent and it's also going to show me a preview of what the receiver got so as you can see it shows me this preview right here this is basically the email i got in my mail and right here it also has a timeline of everything that happened to that email so the time when the email was sent it stores that the time when the email was actually delivered to the receiver's mail it stores that and then the time when the receiver actually opened the email it also stores that so this is actually a good feature that allows you to track this particular email that you have sent so you can see a preview of the email and you can see everything that happened to that email such as the time it was created the time it was processed the time it was sent the time it was delivered to the recipient's email and also the time that the recipient opened the email now this is how you can basically track the activity and monitor the activity of the emails that you send now if you want to check out more other stuff you can come into their documentation and you can see how you can use workflows how you can create more advanced templates and do more stuff so there's going to be a link in the description below i hope you enjoyed this video as i showed you how to send dynamic emails using python and using this waypoint api you can basically use any language any programming language that can access an api so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you were able to learn how to send dynamic emails using python so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.